Hello everybody and welcome back to another Schlib on Switch video. Today we it is time for our end of 2023 Steelbook wrap, wrap up video. Now I did not get all the Steelbooks that released in 2023. Um, there are two that released in 2023 that I am missing in particular. One of them is um, from Bandai Namco, website exclusive in the US, is the Naruto vs. Baruto game which I will be getting once the collector edition goes on a bit of a sale. And the other one is a Korean exclusive game, and after all these years, the first steelbook for a game with no English support. It is The War of Genesis Remnants of Grey. I do have the collector edition for that ordered, and it's on its way. I just don't know how long it will take to get here, so I am not going to wait for it, because it might take more than a month. Um, now that game, they did announce that it will be getting an English version of the game, a global edition at some point, but no information on that, so I just got the collector edition with the steelbook for that as well. Also, with limited run games, they have put out a ton of steelbooks, and I have some that I know they shipped out, but I have them ordered with other games that aren't ready to ship out yet. I'm not sure exactly what it is, I couldn't keep track. Um, and I will give more information on that at the end of the video. So, now to show all the steelbooks that I got in 2023, which is significantly less than 2022. That year I got 49 steelbooks, and there were two steelbooks from 2022 that I did not get, which are going to be in this video. But, um, yeah, so let's dive in. Anyway, so this year we have 21 steelbooks with, out, not including the limited run ones. Anyways, um, so 21 in this video. So the first one we have from limited run games, we have their Alien Isolation steelbook. This came, there was a collector edition for this game and a steelbook VHS edition. Um, so that's the one I got. And then all these steelbooks that have collector editions for them, you can see the full collector edition unboxing on my channel if you're interested to see what comes in. So we have Alien Isolation um, from Limited Run. The next one we is Anonymous Code from Spike Chonsoft. This was a retail release. If you got like the day one edition, it came with this steelbook bundled in. This is probably one of my favorite steelbook designs of the year, at least for the front. Another one from Limited Run, we have Axiom Verge 2. This was in the collector edition for the game. They also had a collector edition for Axiom Verge 1 and 2 combined together, but that came with the same steelbook. So there's no like steelbook designed for Axiom Verge 1. Next we have Bayonetta Origin, Cereza and the Lost Demon. This was a Nintendo Europe pre-order bonus. I got this through a friend in Germany. Help me get this one. Really nice inner artwork there. Next up, we have Broforce from Special Reserve Games. This is the second steelbook that Special Reserve has put out, and also the last one, unfortunately. But I really like the American flag bullet hole spine design on the inside. Next up, we have from NAS America, we have Disgaea 7, Vow of the Vir Vows of the Virtuous. This is the second Disgaea steelbook on the Switch after Disgaea 6. The other Disgaea games that are on Switch from NIS did not get Steelbooks. Next up from Nintendo, we have Fire Emblem Engage. It's a nice Steelbook that came in the Collector Edition for it. Um, one thing with some of the Nintendo Steelbooks is different regions have just like a slightly different gloss on them. I'll show, I'll talk about that a little more later in the video. But I don't really consider that a variant, as long as the art's the same. Next up, we have from, I think, Maximum Games. We have the Five Night at Freddy's Security Breach Steelbook. This came with the Collector Edition for the game. And it's also the only Steelbook in this pile that, did not, that I do not have a standard game case for the game. Because the Steelbook only came, the Collector Edition only came with the Steelbook. And Nintendo America, with Fire Emblem, finally started giving us the Steelbook and the regular case. So I was really excited about that. Next up, we have from Super Rare Games, we have Hell Pie. This is a nice steelbook. We have from NIS America, we have The Legend of Heroes Trails 
to Azure, one of my favorite games of all time and one of the best games I've played all year. And a really nice steelbook. I love the design. Incredible series. And we have The Legend of Heroes Trails into Reverie. And with these, we have five Legend of Heroes steelbooks on the Switch. And this is also an absolutely incredible game. These two are my favorites in the year. So that's that pile done. Next up, we have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is from the collector edition that Nintendo put out. This one I got at the Nintendo store in New York. I lined up and got the collector edition from there. That was fun. That was a fun day. Next up, from Super Rare, we have Lost in Play. And I recently found out that this game is actually was made by an Israeli team. So that is awesome. And the game has Hebrew support. And that's really cool. I really got to play this now that I know that it's been in, from an Israeli team. Next up, we have Master Detective Archives Raincoat from Spike Chonsoft. This is from the Danganronpa devs. And I started playing it. I just wasn't in the right mood. I really got to get back to the game. But it's a nice steelbook and an awesome game. Next up, we have another one of the coolest steelbooks. We have Octopath Traveler 2. This was a Best Buy pre-order bonus for the game in the U.S. I know other regions had other ways of getting it. But this is a really, really beautiful steelbook. Next up, we have the two steelbooks that came out in 2022, but I only got in 2023. We have the Pokemon Scarlet and the Pokemon Violet steelbooks, the single ones. The Pokemon Scarlet steelbook I got at the Nintendo store in Tel Aviv when I was there. It's a really awesome store. Really nice to have the steelbook from that store. Um... And Pokemon Violets, I got um, from Germany. From a friend there helped me get it. Um, I did order these games in 2022 from Nintendo South Africa, but they messed me over and I had to figure out other ways to get the steelbooks. Next up, we have from Super Rare Games, Post Void. Another game from Super Rare, Source of Madness. A steelbook from Limited Run. We got Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Like the inside art of this one. And the last steelbook, and now we have Wavetail. This is from Super Rare Games as well. I did forget to, be, to mention at the beginning of the video that I was doing this in alphabetical order versus order received like I did other years. I just didn't keep track properly. But yeah, so those are all the steel books I got this year. But we have more, so don't leave the video just yet. Um, so some stuff I'm not, that I got that I'm not counting in my collection. I did get the um, European variant of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So as I was saying with the Fire Emblem game, so some Nintendo games have like it's have slightly different coloring. And printing materials. So the American one, which you see here, which I got with the collector edition at launch, it's the same artwork but it has a white background versus the European one has a silver background. Now normally I'm not chasing down these differences, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is one of my favorite games, so I had to pick it up. So thank you for my friend from Germany, that I mentioned a couple times in this video, for helping me get that. Another thing I got this year was the Fuse PM Studios steelbook with this fuse slipcase that a friend of mine sent me. So this is the PM Studios steelbook that I showed off before in another one of these recaps, which all the years will be in the description of this video. Um, so this is the same steelbook, just with a um, fuse slipcase. I'm not actually going to open it, but you can just see the slipcase there. Um, this is advertising their social media platform that they put out. So yeah, so... These are the games from 2023, still waiting for um, The War of Genesis, Remnants of Grey. I'm going to order once it goes on sale, Naruto vs. Baruto. Let's actually put the ones I got this year on top, not the old ones. Um, otherwise, from Limited Run Games, some of these already shipped to some customers, but my copies are bundled with the ones that aren't ready. So we're still waiting from Limited Run for the Contra, Steelbook, uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2, 
Doom Eternal, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Blade Runner, Espugula, I don't know, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one, Shadowrun Trilogy, Radiant Silver Gun, Konami Arcade, Neo Geo Pocket 2, Castlevania Advance, Jurassic Park, Quake 2, Don Don Pachi Resurrection, Gargoyles Remaster, and Persona 3 and 4. So all those should be coming over the next year. Otherwise, other steelbooks that we have, um, we have Crow Sworn, which was a Kickstarter exclusive steelbook. Hopefully we'll get news on that soon. We have Trails Through Daybreak from NS America coming later this year. Sunshine Anthology from Premium Edition Games. Little Gator from um, Super Rare Games. Shinobi from Red Art Games. Blast, and those I all have ordered already. And once I don't have ordered already announced, we have Blasphemous 2, the collector edition, is available at most retail sites. I know on Amazon, Video Games Plus, um, you know, European websites, I'm not sure. Um, Best Buy, put it up. Um, then we have three games from Mike Royds that we don't actually have set release dates for, but we have a Tintin game. We have Flashback 2. Those, I saw orders ready in the U.S. for those. And Goldor, uh, Goldorak, I'm not sure how to pronounce that properly, which is apparently a European-only one from Microids. I haven't seen any U.S. information on that. Anyways, yeah, so this is all the Steelbooks from 2023 and a sneak peek at what's going to come in 2024. And we'll see if anything else gets announced. I will be posting and reposting on my Twitter for any announcements, or my X for any announcements that come up. And yeah, so anyways, what Steelbooks did you get this year? What are some of your favorite ones for the Switch? If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, ring the bell for notifications of future videos, and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.